Homi Takio Api, Wakamani Hamaki Apido. My name is Darcy Bear. I'm the Chief of the White Cap Dakota First Nation. And I greet all of my relations, you know, all of our elders. And of course, the, the Give thanks to all of the all of the support over the years that you've you've given to to our leadership, and uh, we've we've been on this pathway of self governance for a number of years. We started with the the framework agreement on self uh, on land management, and of course we've all seen the uh, the fruits of I guess uh, that that experience of uh, sectoral self government. With with the self government agreements, uh, there's a lot more opportunities for our community uh, with the land management uh, agreements. I've lived here, I was born here actually, I was literally born here in 1962. Back in back in the early days when I was around, uh, there wasn't very much development in the community. And if you did want a job, you'd have to go outside the community now with um, self-government or the Land Management Act. We've created uh, opportunity in our community. There's lots of jobs here, education as well. Removing 25% of the uh, Indian Act has helped White Cap. Um, I guess maybe that's how we started with the golf course. We were able to do uh, business at the speed of business, and I think we eventually landed the casino and now the hotel. Yeah, the land code removed 25% of the control that the government had over our lands and resources. From that point on to now, look at what we've accomplished because of that. You know, we didn't have, uh, have to deal with uh, the red tape that, that the government set in front of us and we're able to do business one-on-one. -on -one. By eliminating the rest of it, it's just going to get better. It's just, uh, it's hard not to see that. You know, we've been under the control of the government. I mean, I, I grew up in it. I grew up in the whole system. I went through residential school and all the negative stuff that the government put in front of us to keep us down. But still, we rose above that. And now, with this self-government agreement, it's just gonna keep us taken further and further in a positive direction. There's so many opportunities out there if you can go and do them. And we are near there. We've already made a lot of things, positive things happen because of eliminating the control, a little bit of control that the government didn't have over us anymore. We'll make sure that the membership is aware and we have that community consultation and that you provide us with your feedback as always. And, uh, and we're all gonna do this together. It's not just leadership, and it's never been just leadership. You've seen throughout the years how we've always worked together. We worked with our elders through our monthly elders sessions. We've had, we have our committee meetings, we have our community meetings. And unfortunately, COVID-19 has taken a lot of that away from us. But now with the restrictions lifted, we can now get back to meeting in person. And I look forward to meeting you in person and talking about our constitution and our self-governed grid. Omitakiwas. For more information, you can email us, call us, or join our White Cap Dakota Self-Government Agreement Facebook group. Pahaska Dakota Oyate Ituhabi. Oyate Ho Unta Ibi.